two, one, go. And 74, 54, 1747, and 1720 all shoot at their upper pour in tandem. And 74, 57, last minute gets them into their outer port. 74, 54 is working on getting some into their lower port, while 40, 64, 51 is working on collecting gears from their trench. Sixty-four fifty-one works on getting into their outer port and successfully gets four in. Seventeen twenty-one at their loading zone, collecting more power cells, running through the trench, and working on shooting some and gets one, two, three, four in. Thirty-nine forty-seven coming over to play defense on the Red Alliance's strong offensive team. Well, seventy-four fifty-seven is working on collecting more power cells to earn the Blue Alliance more points. And seventeen twenty gets. Five into their outer port, running back through their trench to collect more power cells from their loading zone. 39-47 still playing a strong defense on 1747 as they try to, sh to collect power cells and shoot. 64-51 running under their control panel, working their way back over to their side to help the Blue Alliance. 1720 successfully gets them into their outer port despite 39-47's tough defense, while 74-54 gets them into their lower port. 7457 collects a full tank of power cells and works their way back over to hopefully shoot some in. 7457 lines up for the shot and gets four to the outer port and one into the inner port. And that signals the end game. Looks like 7454 is getting ready for a climb, while 1720 also makes their way into the rendezvous point. 3947 also working on getting their climber up, but are having issues clutching onto the rung. 1754 and 1720 are successfully climbing, while 7457 also grabs on, and looks like 3947 is trying to get on to get a last minute climb as well. Are they going to get it? And we are ready to see the results. And the winner is the Red Alliance, winning 158 to 112, keeping their spots in the top eight.